Okay, I'm going to teach you how to tie a very simple bottle lanyard knot. Since this is a tutorial, I'm not going to waste your time with a bunch of talk. I'm going to start out by tying it, teaching how to, and then I'll talk about it. So, you will need approximately two feet of paracord. Find the middle. Now we're going to tie a figure eight knot. If you don't know how to do that, you take I'm holding it vertically. The bottom comes up and around the front, goes around the back to the front and down through the loop. And you can see why it's called a figure eight knot. Uh, if you didn't get that, by all means, back it up or heck, I'll do it again. It is over the front, I'm looking through my camera, around the back, and then to the front and down through the loop. There's a figure eight knot. Now, ideally, you want it to be approximately in the middle, and thankfully, that was actually the hardest part. Uh, if you still don't know how to make that, then pause the video now and uh, go look up another tutorial. Five, four, three, two, one. Continuing on. As said, that was the hard part. Now, before it was vertical, horizontal. So you have the left loop, the right loop, the left string, and the right string. Left string goes in the right loop. The right string goes in the left loop. Now you have these two dangling and the two strings up here. Go ahead, pull that figure eight tight. That's step two, complete. Step three, all you have to do is you get these two loops even, equal. That's step three. Step four, uh, these two loose ends. Now, if you're a paracord person, if you're, if you're doing fancy knots, then by all means, get as fancy as you want. But for most people, you're just gonna tie a simple, what's called a half hitch, although it, it has many names. You tie it around something and it changes names. You tie two of them together and it's a fisherman's line. But uh, just a simple, you know, the knot that every child learns to tie first. And you can try to make the cords line up a little neater. But that's it. It's done. Uh, the, my figure eight here is a little loose, so I'm going to tighten it up a bit more. That's it. It's done. Now the question becomes, why? Well, first of all, it's a foot and a half to two feet of paracord. So even if you're buying decent stuff, you're looking at 20 cents. If you're buying the cheap stuff, then you're, you know, 10 cents or less. Yeah, it's ultra lightweight. It's cheap. It's easy. It's fast. Um, it works on pretty much any bottle that you find. There is a lip under the cap, which is basically every bottle has that lip. So also it is symmetrical, almost symmetrical. The loops, when you pull, looking to the camera again, when you pull one, it shortens one string. When you pull the other loop, it shortens the other string. So whether you put it on a skinny bottle and tighten it up, the string is still, the two strings are equal to each other. Uh, you don't wind up with the knot off to one side and carrying it, you know, like, the, no, it, the knot stays at the end. To undo it, you just grab and pull. It comes off. You can use the same thing on a larger bottle. Tighten it up, pull both strings to tighten both loops around the neck of the bottle, and the weight of the bottle pulls it tight, keeps it tight. 
um, you know, work on just about anything. I used to go to a sci-fi convention. I'd carry an itty bitty tiny little bottle because there were water fountains everywhere. I just refilled it over and over. Uh, it's cheap. It's easy. Give them away to your friends. It's ultra lightweight. It's good for hikers and outdoors people. Um, of course, you can always add a cord, sliding cord lock, a carabiner, clip it to your belt, uh, weave them or tie them in different colors, put them on your different bottles. You know, red is Susan, brown is Fred, whatever. It's just a really useful little knot. Oh, and I should mention, I have absolutely no idea what this is called. I made it up just fiddling around. I'm sure that somebody else out there has done this before, uh, but I can't find it. I don't know what it's called. So if you do know the proper name for this knot, please comment it below. Let me know and I'll update the video.